I came here to remind you that when people laugh at your visions and ideas, it's only because they don't have their own visions and ideas around what they're supposed to do with their life or their careers. And understand that your family and friends and loved ones, in most cases, boyfriends, girlfriends, they will be the first to try and talk you out of your dreams, your visions and ideas. People that don't have their own visions, they become vision killers. They want nothing more than to talk you out of your own visions. They don't have dreams for themselves. They don't have any hopes. They're hopeless. They're uninspired, unmotivated. They have no dreams. They have nothing that they're ambitious about. But I want to remind you to continue to dream and dream big. I have a habit of dreaming with my eyes open. Only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. You have to be able to see what doesn't exist in order to be able to pull off or achieve what in most people's minds seems to be impossible. Only those that can see the invisible, being able to see what's not there. What is your vision? What is your idea? What was that God sent dream? Only those that can see the invisible can do what seems to be impossible. This is the power of visions and ideas. What do you do about the, about the negative guy that's trying to bring you down? Ignore and outperform them. You see, while you're over there, watching me and talking about me i'm working i'm working hard i'm taking things to the next level you keep gossiping and i'll keep working you keep talking smack and i'll keep working you keep focusing on everything and everyone else and i'll keep working and when you finally look around at where you are and where i'm at you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. And you will lose and I will win. Let your first course of action, let the fundamental core of your reaction be to outwork and out 